<laughs> okay, so it's Thursday morning. Well, it's almost afternoon. It's 11.45. And Connie just, she walked herself to McDonald's. Like, found her way through Hong Kong herself. And she got her McD's. And she's really proud of herself. Also, um, last night we were going to do a recap. But I come out of the shower and Connie is just passed out. <laughs> she was just like face down on her executive suite bed and I was just like whatever I'll just let her sleep so she's going to talk about last night also um, when we went to get sushi and we had to walk really far and she's going to talk about that and maybe she'll talk about breakfast this morning and what we're going to do today so all right so I don't remember when the last time we filmed was but last night around 10 we went with Stacy's boyfriend JP Sean Philippe also known as Lil B and we went and we got sushi because it was half price at sushi. I don't even know where we went. I just knew that we had to walk a lot. That's all I ever know. You just walk to get where you need to go and I have so many blisters. But thank God Stacey has her converse that she's letting me borrow because apparently she doesn't get blisters. It's only it's only the American girl. Well, I mean, she's American too. <laughs> but still, nonetheless, I have blisters and it sucks. So I'm wearing socks and sneakers. So, we get sushi last night. I got a drink, of course. It was called the Tokyo DM. So after that, we came back here, and like Stacey already mentioned, I passed out because I was exhausted. Woke up this morning around like 7.30, took a shower, got ready. Stacey was still sleeping. She got up and blow dried her hair. Maybe she was sleepwalking because it was really weird. No, because I woke up and my hair was wet and I knew that it would look disgusting if I didn't blow dry it but I was still so tired but like I just made myself do it and then I went back to sleep so this morning we woke up and we went to breakfast because my stomach was growling a lot and I didn't get sick from sushi which is a surprise because Stacey here has had diarrhea since she got here from the sushi so I did poop today but it was a good poop <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm so candid about everything but anyway so that was just like half an hour ago. And then Stacey had to study here for her Chinese test, which she's very frustrated about because she has to learn the symbols. And the symbols she needs to know are in her Chinese dictionary. So that kind of sucks. But I've been helping her, and she's probably better off than she thinks she is. So we'll see how that class goes. And I went to McDonald's all by myself in Hong Kong, Kowloon, Hong Kong. I walked there all by myself and got home just fine. Nothing happened. So, we're here now, we're about to go with JP, we're going to go to the Hong Kong Park, and we're going to take the ferry again, because I love the ferry. <laughs> Did I talk too much or something? He's holding his arm up. I don't know, maybe we can do uh, an interview. No! Can you say a few words? It's just that my bee is always shooting instead of spending time with me, so <laughs> she's kind of come at the hotel as soon as you can, but of course, once I'm here, she just did it. So it was only for a little bit. Yeah, it was only 30 minutes, I just waited 30 minutes of my time today, but anyways, my B is happy, so it's not so bad. Aww. <laughs> Bye -bye. We know. This is Connie walking through Hong Kong. He keeps, they keep calling me Chiffin. It's Chiffon. Wait, I know the name. I, know. I, have a I study fashion, I know. Yeah. There was some chocolate the other day in the gas station, and it was like Chiffon. Or actually, it was the supermarket. It was like Chiffon food. <laughs> lunchbox? What? I gave a lunchbox today. You know. All right, Connie, can you tell us a little bit about what you're thinking about? Um, today, I've noticed the smell more than any other day, and I saw chickens hanging. Like, <laughs> real chickens, legit chickens, just hanging. And it was rather sad. And, like, the smell is just really overwhelming today. And it's not as hot, so that's really nice. The wind is blowing a lot. So we're on our way to the ferry. We're going to take the ferry to Central, and we're going to go to the park. Then on the way back, we're going to do some shoe shopping because there's two stores with shoes on sale for $29, which is like a little over three American dollars. Then we're going to go have our delicious burgers we ate yesterday. Stacy's got to go to class. I'm going to get ready while she's in class and then meet her at the bridge near her school. 
Then we're gonna go to ladies night in Central. In Central. And that's gonna be fun. So, over and out from Hong Kong. See you next time. <laughs> so we're here at Hong Kong Park, which is in Central. And we're just looking at some birds. And after, I don't really know what there is because I have never been here before. So it's the three of us. We just had some salad. And Connie's gonna talk a little bit about um, the birds. Oh, <laughs> so we're here at Hong Kong Park and we're trying to take pictures of all the birds, but there's a black fence in the way of all the, uh, the creatures. So it's really hard to get good pictures, clear pictures. It's very frustrating. Sweating pretty bad because it was quite an uphill walk on the way to get here. We just had just salad and that's literally what it's called, just salad. And it was delicious and I ate it all and I don't feel guilty about it because it's just salad. So, <laughs> um, that's about all for right now. My battery's gonna die soon on my camera, so I'm pretty upset about that. And otherwise, we're having a pretty relaxing day. So, we'll check back in later. Hong Kong Park in the Bird Atrium Aviary and Honey is just loving it. She's over there. Um, we can't get her to leave. We were all ready to go and she said, I just want to stay. Here she comes. She doesn't know that I'm video taking her. <laughs> Here she comes. I'm sure she's going to have a lot of words to say about this part of the experience. So, here's JP. He's got a brand new camera. Penny, would you like to say a few words? I love it here. Besides that, Connie. Um, so cool. So we're at the <laughs> Hong Kong Park and I've got about 50 pictures of different birds <laughs> up close and personal and it's pretty amazing and I have to say I'm a little skittish because they fly pretty fast right by your head and it's a little bit un unnerving but I'm doing okay and we've got JP over there with his professional camera. He's got me beat, my little digital. So, Stacy's got class in a couple hours and I don't really know what time it is. You don't really want to know when you're doing stuff like this. I just had to leave and go to the bathroom. <laughs> and see how close they fly? It's crazy. And it was just a hole in the ground. Like, you just squat down and you just go in a hole in the ground. And it's really disgusting. last, very, very last day, just morning, and um, Connie's flight leaves in about an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> no, like like two and a half hours. And uh, we're still on the bus. We just got on the bus because, as you can see, we look really, really disgusting because <laughs> somehow we turned off my phone alarm like while we were sleeping. I have no idea which one of us it was, but the evidence was on Connie's back, so it could have been her. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pass the camera over to, to Connie, and she's just going to say a few words about how her week was. So, it's been a very emotional week. <laughs> I've laughed, I've cried, I threw up, <laughs> I've kept some stuff down, I've been sober, I've been drunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> All in one week. <laughs> so we're here on the bus, like Stacy said, I'm going to the airport. <sighs> and I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but unfortunately, the only way there is a 16 hour flight. <laughs> and then a three hour ride in the car. Now, I woke up at 4 30 a.m. this morning because I slept all day yesterday. And I packed. And 
stayed up for a little longer with the intent to shower and then never did. <laughs> so my breath smells disgusting, as do my armpits and the rest of me. I've been sleeping in a pee bed <laughs> for the past two days. And so I can't even, I feel bad for whoever has to sit next to me on the plane because <laughs> it's not going to be good. <laughs> and on the way here, well, the first day when I got here, I had a roller suitcase because Stacy's parents needed, or Stacy needed the roller suitcase. So I just put my big duffel in the roller suitcase so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> but then I didn't have it for the walk from the hotel to the bus station. I just had my duffel <laughs> and the strap broke on the duffel. So I had to carry it like a baby. <laughs> Except for it was like times 80 pounds a big fat to baby. the bus station. Oh. And then because I have no money left on my octopus and no other money, we had to count out $33 in Hong Kong coins. And I mean, we had it, but we almost didn't. But we do. And so that wraps up this trip. I hope you enjoyed our videos. I certainly have. It's been a pretty emotional roller coaster for the past week. And of course, I wouldn't have even been here if it wasn't for the Thompsons. So, thank you for that. <laughs> I have some gifts for everybody back home. Little gifts, but gifts. <laughs> so, peace out from Hong Kong. And just so you know, if you ever go out of the country, there's always something. Every day. Alright, bye.